Top honors here in Jacksonville, UF Health Jacksonville's ALS Center has been named a certified treatment center for excellence by the ALS Association. ALS, short for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It is a progressive disease, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and it robs patients of their ability to walk and in some cases their ability to talk. It is very brutal to watch. It attacks nerve cells, controlling muscles throughout the body. Now, UF Health Jacksonville is now one of just two certified treatment centers of excellence here in Northeast Florida. We're excited about this because it is giving patients hope. There is a woman there on the screen, all smiles. That is our coworker. In fact, she's producing the show today and she knows we love her, Sharon Siegel Cohen, and she is battling a form of this disease. So she's certainly making us more aware about it. Very excited to have UF get this honor as well. So we want to bring in Dr. Michael Pulley, an associate professor of neurology at University of Florida, Jacksonville. So thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. So talk about what a certification does and, and what it means as far as what you all have done as a hospital. Well, in order to uh, get the certification, we had to demonstrate excellence in care of patients, research, and that we are expanding and growing our um, practice in ALS care. So. And does that mean that you all have made that a priority and something that you really want to hone in on? Because we were just talking, I mean, it's, it's very rare. Two in 100,000 new cases or people are affected by this, and so maybe 20,000 new cases every year. Right, and so... Um, yeah, it is something that we have prioritized um, as a department and um, built a team that specializes in care of these patients. Um, it is really important that the people providing the care are, are specialized, and um, we've built a really excellent team of speech therapists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, respiratory um, nutritionists. We have our clinic coordinators. We have social workers. It's a real team approach, and that's why we call it a multidisciplinary clinic. Yeah, that care is so important. It's being seen in every aspect of the medical world right now where you get these teams because every because you're going to treat the whole body, right? You're not just treating one thing. Right, and it's important um, that the patient can do one-stop shopping, in a sense, um, mm -hmm. come in for a very extended visit where they're going to uh, be evaluated by all these different providers. And they're all talking and in sync. So one person may have another suggestion while another may offer something different. And patients sometimes reveal things to uh, providers you wouldn't expect. Right. Um, that, that they'll tell the speech therapist something that you would think would be more uh, for me. Um, but that's why we have uh, conferences before and after right. we, we meet the patients. It's, so. just, it's better care for patients as they're going through this. And, you know, as we mentioned, it's a brutal disease. You know, it's progressive. Right now, there aren't, there's not a whole lot of options for patients once they reach a certain point. But talk about some of the advances in the treatment for ALS. Sure, so um, there's one treatment that's been shown to slow disease that's been available for quite a long time. And just in the last year or so, there's a new treatment that's come along. Um, so we have two different treatments now that are used to slow progression. And there's certainly still a lot of research. We are currently participating in three different clinical trials for new treatments for ALS. And there's no shortage of uh, interest from um, pharmaceutical companies to develop new products. Um, and, and there's no shortage of support for uh, research. And patients as well. I mean, so, you know, we have someone out there who's listening and they're battling this. There are options. And I think that's very important that people need to know for that hope, especially the clinical trials. And they should do their research and make sure that they're, they're advocating for themselves to get in some of those trials. Well, there's the, the research trials, but also there is the care of the patients who have the disease now. And so, um, obviously, that's a really critical component of it. And that's what we specialize in. And that's that's what we're being recognized for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are patients coming from all over the state to now? Oh, absolutely. We've been, we've always drawn patients from as far away as Tallahassee actually coming to Jacksonville. So it's been, uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, people ask me why I do this and I say because uh, patients need somebody who knows what they're doing and who really cares about the yeah, patients. No doubt about it. I know Sharon loves you. <laughs> she talks about you. So it's exciting to hear that you guys have the certification and certainly patients who are out there, this is maybe where you want to go and definitely go to get some, some, some hope and some options for you as you're dealing with this disease. Appreciate you coming in, Scott. Thank you.